Kolam IPA com pronunciation also known by its former name Keelan Kolo pronunciation and Desinganadu is an old seaport and city on the locative sea coast of the Indian state of Kerala The city is on the banks Ashtamudi Lake Kolam has had a strong commercial reputation since the days of the Phoenicians and Romans Fed by the Chinese trade it was mentioned by Ibn Battuta in the 14th century as one of the five Indian ports he had seen during the course of his 24 year travels Desinganadu's Rajas exchanged embassies with Chinese rulers while there was a flourishing Chinese settlement at Kolam. In the 9th century, on his way to Canton, China, Persian merchant Suleiman al Tajir found Kolam to be the only port in India visited by huge Chinese junks. Marco Polo, the Venetian traveller, who was in Chinese service under Kublai Khan in 1275, visited Kolam and other towns on the west coast, in his capacity as a Chinese Mandarin. V. Nagam Aya in his Travancore State Manual records that in 822 AD two East Syriac bishops Mar Sabor and Mar Proth, settled in Keelan with their followers. Two years later the Malabar era began 824 AD and Keelan became the premier city of the Malabar region ahead of Travancore and Cochin. Kolam Port was founded by Mar Sabor at Tangaseri in 825 as an alternative to reopening the inland sea port of Kor K Ni Kolam near Bakhair, the Valakara, which was also known as Nelsinda and Tindis to the Romans and Greeks and as Thandi to the Tamils. <laughs> General information Kolam is a coastal city on the banks of Ashtamudi Lake that took the title God's Own Country without much demur. The Ashtamudi Lake lie about 71 kilometers (44 miles) north of the state capital, Tiruvannantapuram. The city hosts the administrative offices of Kolam District and is a prominent trading city for the state. The proportion of females to males in Kolam city is second highest among the 500 most populous cities in India. Kolam is the least polluted city in India. Four major trading centres, towns around Kolam are Katarakara, Punalar, Paravar, and Karunagapali. Kolam is an ancient trading town, trading with Romans, Chinese, Arabs, and other Orientals, mentioned in historical citations dating back to biblical times and the reign of Solomon, connecting with Red Sea ports of the Arabian Sea, supported by a find of ancient Roman coins. There was also internal trade through the Punalar Pass connecting the ancient town to Tamil Nadu. The overland trade in pepper by bullock cart and the trade over the waterways connecting Alapi and Cochin established trade linkages that enabled it to grow into one of the earliest Indian industrial townships. The rail links later established to Tamil Nadu supported still stronger trade links. The factories processing marine exports and the processing and packaging of cashinets extended its trade across the globe. Major characteristics Kolam is the fourth largest city in Kerala, the city continues after the corporation area, and the fifth largest in incorporated area. It is known for cashew processing and core manufacturing. Ashtamudi Lake is considered the southern gateway to the backwaters of Kerala and is a prominent tourist destination at Kolam. The Kolam urban area includes suburban towns such as Paravar in the south, Kundara in the east and Karunagapali in the north of the city. Other important towns in the city suburbs are Aravipuram, Katiyam, Kananalar and Chavara. Kolam appeared as Palom in Mandeville's travels, where he claimed it contained a fountain of youth. During the later stages of the rule of the Shara monarchy in Kerala, Kolam emerged as the focal point of trade and politics. Kolam continues to be a major business and commercial centre in the southern Kerala. Toponymy In 825 CE, the Malayalam calendar, or Kalavarsham, was created in Kolam at meetings held in the city. The present Malayalam calendar is said to have begun with the re-founding of the town, which was rebuilt after its destruction by a fire. The name Kolam is believed to have been derived from the Sanskrit word Kolam, meaning pepper. History As the ancient city of Keelan, Kolam was a flourishing port during the Shara dynasty c. 3rd century BC 12th century, and later became the capital of the independent Vanad or Kingdom of Keelan on its foundation in c. 
825. Kolom was considered one of the four early entrepots in global sea trade during the 13th century, along with Alexandria and Cairo in Egypt, the Chinese city of Chenzhou, and Malacca in the Malaysian archipelago. Shara rule Along with Patanam Keelan was an ancient seaport on the Malabar coast of India from the early centuries before the Christian era. The city had a high commercial reputation from the days of the Phoenicians and ancient Romans. Pliny the Elder 23 AD mentions Greek ships anchored at Musiris and Nelsinda. There was also a land route over the Western Ghats. Spices, pearls, diamonds, and silk were exported to Egypt and Rome from these ports. Pearls and diamonds came to the Shara Kingdom from Ceylon and the southeastern coast of India, then known as the Pandyan Kingdom. Cosmas Indicaplustes, a Greek Nestorian sailor, in his book The Christian Topography who visited the Malabar coast in 550, mentions an enclave of Christian believers in Mail Shara Kingdom. He writes, in the island of Tabropane Ceylon, there is a church of Christians, and clerics and faithful. Likewise at Mail, where the pepper grows, and in the farming community of Kalyana at Nilakal, there is also a bishop consecrated in Persia in accordance with the Nicaea Sunahados of 325 AD." The Nestorian patriarch Jesujabas, who died in 660 AD, mentions Kolam in his letter to Simon, Metropolitan of Persia. Capital of Vinad 9th to 12th centuries. The port at Kolam, then known as Keelan, was founded in 825 by the Nestorian Christians Mar Sabor and Mar Proth with sanction from Ionidical Thiruvatical, the king of the independent Vinad or state of Keelan, a feudatory under the Shara kingdom. It is believed that Mar Sapor Iso also proposed that the Shara king create a new seaport near Kolam in lieu of his request that he rebuild the almost vanished inland seaport at Kolam near Bakhare, the Valakara, also known as Nelsinda and Tindis to the Romans and Greeks. Greeks and as Thandi to the Tamils, which had been without trade for several centuries because the Cheras were overrun by the Pallavas in the 6th century, ending the spice trade from the Malabar coast. This allowed the Nestorinas to stay in the Shara kingdom for several decades and introduce the Christian faith among the Namputhiri Vaishnavites and Nair sub castes in the St. Thomas tradition, with the Syrian liturgy as a basis for the doctrine of the Trinity, without replacing the Sanskrit and Vedic prayers. The Therisapali plates presented to Maruvan Sapur Iso by Ionidical Thiruvadical granted the Christians the privilege of overseeing foreign trade in the city as well as control over its weights and measures in a move designed to increase Keelan's trade and wealth. The two Christians were also instrumental in founding Christian churches with Syrian liturgy along the Malabar coast, distinct from the ancient Vedic Advaitam propounded by Adi Shankara in the early 9th century among the Namputhiri Vaishnavites and Nair sub castes, as Malayalam was not accepted as a liturgical language until the early 18th century. Thus began the Malayalam era, known as Kala Varsham after the city, indicating the importance of Kolam in the 9th century. The Persian merchant Suleiman of Saraf visited Malabar in the 9th century and found Keelan to be the only port in India used by the huge Chinese ships as their transshipment hub for goods on their way from China to the Persian Gulf. The rulers of Kolam formerly called Desinganadu had trade relations with China and exchanged embassies. According to the records of the Tang dynasty 618-913, Keelan was their chief port of call before the 7th century. The Chinese trade decreased about 600 and was again revived in the 13th century. Mirabilia Descripta by Bishop Catalani gives a description of life in Kolam, which he saw as the Catholic bishop designate to Kolam, the oldest Catholic diocese in India. He also gives true and imaginary descriptions of life in India the Major in the period before Marco Polo visited the city. Portuguese, Dutch and British conquests 16th to 18th centuries. The Portuguese were the first Europeans to establish a trading centre in Tangasseri, Colom in 1502, which became the centre of their trade in pepper. In the wars with the Moors, Arabs that followed, the ancient church temple of St. Thomas tradition at the Valacara was destroyed. In 1517 the Portuguese built the St. Thomas Fort in Thongasari, which was destroyed in the subsequent wars with the Dutch. 
In 1661 the Dutch East India Company took possession of the city. The remnants of the old Portuguese fort, later renovated by the Dutch, can be found at Thongasari. In the 18th century Travancore conquered Kolom, followed by the British in 1795. Thongasari remains today as an Anglo-Indian settlement, though few Anglo-Indians remain. The Infant Jesus Church in Thongasari, an old Portuguese-built church, remains as a memento of the Portuguese rule of the area. Battle of Keelan The Battle of Keelan was fought in 1809 between a troop of the Indian Kingdom of Travancore led by the then Dalawa Prime Minister of Travancore, Valu Thampi Dalawa and the British East India Company led by Colonel Chalmers at Cantonment Maiden in Keelan. The battle lasted for only six hours and was the result of the East India Company's invasion of Keelan and their garrison situated near the Cantonment Maiden. The company forces won the battle while all the insurrectionists who participated in the war were court-martialed and subsequently hanged at the Maiden. Excavation at Kolom Port Seabed excavations are going on at Kolom Port premises since February 2014 as the team has uncovered arrays of antique artifacts, including Chinese porcelain and coins. A Chinese team with the Palace Museum, a team from India with Kerala Council for Historical Research KCHR are jointly working at the Kolam port site for the treasure hunt. The archaeologists and historians said that the discovered coins and artifacts had the potential to tell the story of a bygone India-China link, and even strong trade links of Kolam city with other ancient empires. Geography. <laughs> <laughs> Kolam city is bordered by the panchayats of Nindakara and Thrikaruva to the north, Mayanad to the south, and Thrikovilvatam and Kadamkara to the east, and by the Lakative Sea to the west. Ashtamudi Lake is in the heart of the city. The city is about 71 km 44 miles from Tiruvananthapuram, 142 km 88 miles from Kochi and 350 km 220 miles from Korikode. The six major urban centers are Poonalar, Kadarakara, Karunagapali, Paravar, Ankal and Kundara. Two of the major waterways in the district are the Kalada and Ithakara rivers. The Kalada empties into Ashtamudi Lake, while the Ithakara runs to Paravar Kyle. The Palaruvi Falls and Kumbavorati waterfalls are also important geographical attractions in Kolam district. In March 2016, India Times, one of the leading online news media, selected Kolam as one of the nine least polluted cities on earth to which anybody can relocate. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Climate. Kolam experiences a tropical climate with little seasonal variation in temperatures. December to March is the dry season with less than 60 mm of rain in each of those months. April to November is the wet season, with considerably more rain than during December to March. <laughs> Demographics As of the 2011 India census, Kolam city had a population of 349,033 with a density of 5,900 persons per square kilometer. The sex ratio, the number of females per 1,000 males, was 1,112, the highest in the state. The district of Kolam ranked 7th in population in the state while the city of Kolam ranked 4th. As of 2010 Kolam had an average literacy rate of 93.77%, higher than the national average of 74.04%. Male literacy stood at 95.83%, and female at 91.95%. In Kolam, 11% of the population was under 6 years of age. In May 2015, Government of Kerala have decided to expand City Corporation of Kolam by merging Thrikadavur Panchayat. So the area will become 73.03 square kilometers, 28.20 square miles with a total city population of 384,892. Malayalam is the most spoken language while Tamil is well understood in the city. There are also small communities of Anglo-Indians, Konkani Brahmins, Telugu Chetty and Bengali migrant laborers settled in the city. For ease of administration, Kolam Municipal Corporation is divided into six zones with local zonal offices for each one. 
Central Zone 1, Kolam Municipal Corporation Central Zone 2, headquartered at Cantonment, Kolam Municipal Corporation Saktikulangara Zone, Kolam Municipal Corporation Vidakavila Zone, Kolam Municipal Corporation Kilakolor Zone, Kolam Municipal Corporation Aravipuram Zone, Kolam Municipal Corporation In 2014, former Kolam Mayor Mrs. Prasanna Ernest was selected as the best lady mayor of South India by the Rotary Club of Trivandrum Royal. Topic: Civic Administration. Kolam City is a municipal corporation with elected councillors from its 55 divisions. The mayor, elected from among the councillors, generally represents the political party holding a majority. The corporation secretary heads the office of the corporation. The present mayor of Kolam Corporation is A. D. V. V. Rajendra Babu of CPI -M. The police administration of the city falls under the Kolam City Police Commissionerate which is headed by an IPS Indian police service cadre officer and he reports to the Inspector General of Police IGP to Ruvanantapuram Range. The police administration comes under the State Home Department of the Government of Kerala. Kolam City is divided into three subdivisions, Karunagapali, Kolam and Chattanoor, each under an Assistant Commissioner of Police. Urban structure With a total urban population of 1,187,158 and 349,033 as city corporations population, Kolam is the fourth most populous city in the state and 49th on the list of the most populous urban agglomerations in India. As of 2011 the city's urban growth rate of 154.59% was the second highest in the state. The metropolitan area of Kolam includes Yuliakoval, Adichandalar, Adinad, Ayanivalikulangara, Chavara, Elampalar, Aravipuram, Part, Kalilabagam, Karunagapali, Kolam, Kadamkara, Kalasakarapuram, Mayanad, Meenad, Nedampana, Nindakara, Ochira, Panayam, Panmana, Paravar, Paranad, Puthakulam, Thazuthala, Thodayor, Thrikadavor, Thrikaruva, Thrikovilvadam, and Vadakumthala. The Kerala government has decided to develop the city of Kolam as a Port City of Kerala. Regeneration of the Maruthadi Aravipuram area, including construction of facilities for fishing, tourism, and entertainment projects, will be implemented as part of the project. Topic Industry and economy The city life of Kolam has changed greatly in the last previous decade. In terms of economic performance and per capita income, Kolam city is in fifth position from India and third in Kerala. Kolam is famous as a city with excellent export background. Five-star, four-star and three-star hotels, multi-storied shopping malls, branded jewelries, textile showrooms and car showrooms have started operations in the city and suburbs. Kolam was the third city in Kerala after Kori Kode and Kochi to adopt the shopping mall culture. Kolam district ranks first in livestock wealth in the state. Downtown Kolam is the main CBD of Kolam city. Dairy farming is fairly well developed. Also there is a chilling plant in the city. Kolam is an important maritime and port city of the state. Fishing has a prominent place in the economy of the district. Nindakara and Saktikulangara villages in the suburbs of the city have thriving fisheries. An estimated 134,973 persons are engaged in fishing and allied activities. Cheriyashikal, Alapad, Pandaratharuthu, Puthanthora, Nindakara, Thongasari, Aravipuram, and Paravar are eight of the 26 important fishing villages. There are 24 inland fishing villages also. Recognizing the unique location and infrastructure available, the government has initiated steps for establishing a fishing harbour at Nindakara which is expected to increase fish production by 15%. Average fish landing is estimated at 85,275 tonnes per year. One third of the state's fish catch is from Kolam. Nearly 3,000 mechanised boats are operating from the fishing harbour. FFDA and VFFDA promote fresh water fish culture and prawn farming respectively. A model fishing village with 100 houses is being built at Aravipuram. A model prawn farm is being built at Ayiramthangu, and several new hatcheries are also planned to cater to the needs of the aquaculturists. 
Kerala's only turkey farm and a regional poultry farm are at Karupuja. There are two central government industrial operations in the city, the Indian Rare Earths, Chavara and Parvathi Mills Limited, Kolam. Kerala Ceramics Limited in Kundara, Kerala Electrical and Allied Engineering Company in Kundara, Kerala Premo Pipe Factory in Chavara, Kerala Minerals and Metals Limited in Chavara and United Electrical Industries in Kolam are Kerala government-owned companies. Other major industries in the private, cooperative sector are Aluminium Industries Limited in Kundara, Thomas Stephen & Co., in Kolam, Florco in Paravur and Cooperative Spinning Mill in Chattanoor. The beach sands of the district have concentrations of such heavy minerals as ilmenite, rutile, monocyte and zircon, which offer scope for exploitation for industrial purposes. Besides large deposits of china clay in Kundara, Mulavana and Chattanoor, there are also lime shell deposits in Ashtamudi Lake and bauxite deposits in Adichanalar, known as the cashew capital of the world. Kolam is noted for its traditional cashew business and is home to more than 600 cashew processing units. Every year, about 800,000 tons of raw cashews are imported into the city for processing and an average of 130,000 tons of processed cashews are exported to various countries worldwide. The Cashew Export Promotion Council of India CEPCI expects a rise in exports to 275,000 tonnes by 2020, an increase of 120% over the current figure. The Kerala State Cashew Development Corporation Limited KSCDC is situated at Mundakal in Kolam City. The company owns 30 cashew factories all across Kerala. Of these, 24 are located in Kolam district. Kolam is one of many seafood export hubs in India with numerous companies involved in the sector. Most of these are based in the Maruthadi, Saktikulangara, Kavanad, Nindakara, Azramam, Kilakolor, Tirumulavaram, and Yuliakoval areas of the city. Kapithans, King's Marine Exporters, India Food Exports and Oceanic Fisheries are examples of seafood exporters. Kolam's Ashtamudi Lake Clam Fishery was the first Marine Stewardship Council MSC certified fishery in India. The clam fishery supports around 3,000 people involved in the collection, cleaning, processing and trading of clams. Around 90 species of fish and 10 species of clams are found in the lake. Topic: Transport. Topic: Air. The City Corporation of Kolam is served by the Trivandrum International Airport, which is about 56 kilometers from the city. Trivandrum International Airport is the first international airport in a non-metro city in India, and the only airport in Kerala having more than two terminals. Daily domestic flight services are available such major cities as Mumbai, Hyderabad, Chennai, Delhi, Bangalore and Kochi. International flight services connecting to Sharjah, Dubai, Abu Dhabi, Bahrain, Kuwait, Muscat, Malay, Doha, Singapore and Colombo are available from here. However, Kolam Airport at Azramam was the first aerodrome in Kerala. The first flight to Kerala landed here. Now the old airport area is serving as a twin helipad of the city, which is about one kilometre away from the city centre. The first amphibian aircraft seaplane of Kerala also landed in Kolam. Rail <inaudible> 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 Kolam Junction is the second largest railway station in Kerala in area, after Shornor Junction, with a total of six platforms. Mainline electrical multiple unit memu services started from Kolam to Ernakulam via Alapuja and Katiyam in the second week of January 2012. By 1 December 2012, memu service between Kolam and Nagarkoil became a reality and later extended up to Kanyakumari. Kolam Memu Shed inaugurated on 1 December 2013 for the maintenance works of Memu Rakes. Kolam Memu Shed is the largest Memu Shed in Kerala, which is equipped with most modern facilities. There is a long-standing demand for the Kolam Town Railway Station in the Kolam Paranad stretch and S.N. College Railway Station in the Kolam Aravipuram stretch. The railway stations in Kolam City are Kolam Junction Railway Station, Aravipuram Railway Station and Kilakolor Railway Station. 
A new suburban rail system has been proposed by the Kerala government and Indian Railways on the route to Ruvananthapuram, Kolam, Haripad, Changanur for which MRVC is tasked to conduct a study and submit a report. Ten trains, each with seven coaches, will transport passengers back and forth along the Trivandrum Kolam Changanur Kadarakara Ador section. Road The city of Kolam is connected to almost all the cities and major towns in the state, including Trivandrum, Alapuja, Kochi, Palakkad, Katiyam, Katarakara, and Punalar, and with other Indian cities through the NH66, NH183, NH744 and other state PWD roads. Road transport is provided by state-owned Kerala State Road Transport Corporation and private transport bus operators. Kolam is one among the five KSRTC zones in Kerala. Road transport is also provided by private taxis and auto rickshaws, also called autos. There is a city private bus stand at Andamukam. There is a KSRTC bus station beside Ashtamudi Lake. Buses to various towns in Kerala and interstate services run from this station. Water The State Water Transport Department operates boat services to West Kalada, Munro Island, Guanandapuram, Dalavapuram and Alapuja from Kolam KSWTD ferry terminal situated on the banks of the Ashtamudi Lake. Azramam Link Road in the city passes adjacent to the ferry terminal. Double-decker luxury boats run between Kolam and Alapi daily. Luxury boats, operated by the government and private owners, operate from the main boat jetty during the tourist season. The West Coast Canal system, which starts from Tiruvanantapuram in the south and ends at Hosturg in the north, passes through Paravar, the city of Kolam and Karunagapali Taluk. Kolam Port is the second largest port in Kerala, after Cochin Port Trust. It is one of two international ports in Kerala. Cargo handling facilities began operation in 2013. Foreign ships arrive in the port regularly with the MV Alina, a 145-metre vessel registered in Antigua anchored at the port on 4 April 2014. Once the port starts functioning in full-fledged, it will make the transportation activities of Kolam-based cashew companies more easy. Shreya's shipping company is now running a regular container service between Kolam Port and Kochi Port. Topic: Education. Amrita Vishwa Vidyapitham at Amrithapuri is an integrated campus. There are many respected colleges, schools, and learning centers in Kolam. The city and suburbs contribute greatly to education by providing the best and latest knowledge to the scholars. The Thangal Kunju Musalier College of Engineering, the first private school of its kind in the state, is at Kilakolor, about 7 kilometres east of Kolam city, and is a source of pride for all Kolamites. The government of Kerala has granted academic autonomy to Fatima Mata National College, another prestigious institution in the city. Sri Narayana College, Bishop Jerome Institute an integrated campus providing architecture, engineering and management courses, and Travancore Business Academy are other important colleges in the city. There are two law colleges in the city, Sri Narayana Guru College of Legal Studies under the control of Sri Narayana Trust and NSS Law College managed by the NSS. Kerala State Institute of Design KSID, a design institute under Department of Labour and Skills, Government of Kerala, is located at Chandanathapi, about 8 km from Kolam town. It was established in 2008 and was one of the first state-owned design institutes in India. KSID currently conducts postgraduate diploma programs in design developed in association with National Institute of Design, Ahmedabad. The Institute of Fashion Technology, Kolam, Kerala is a fashion technology institute situated in Velaman, Kolam, established in technical collaboration with the National Institute of Fashion Technology and the Ministry of Textiles. In addition, there are two IMK Institute of Management, Kerala extension centres active in the city. Apart from colleges, there are a number of bank coaching centres in Kolam. Kolam is known as India's hub for bank test coaching centres with around 40 such institutes in the district. 
Students from various Indian states such as Tamil Nadu, Karnataka, Andhra Pradesh, Bihar and Madhya Pradesh also come here for coaching. Culture Kolam Fest is Kolam's own annual festival, attracting mostly Keralites but also hundreds of domestic and foreign tourists to Kolam. The main venue of Kolam Fest is the historic and gigantic Ashramam Maidan. Kolam Fest is the signature event of Kolam. Kolam Fest seeks to showcase Kolam's rich culture and heritage, tourism potential, and investments in new ventures. Kolam Puram, part of the Ashramam Sri Krishnaswami Temple Festival, is usually held on 15 April, but occasionally on 16 April. The Puram is held at the Ashramam Maidan. The President's Trophy Boat Race is an annual regatta held in Ashtamudi Lake in Kolam. The event was inaugurated by President Pratibha Patil in September 2011. The event has been rescheduled from 2012. Topic: Sports. Cricket is the most popular sport, followed by hockey and football. Kolam is home to a number of local cricket, hockey and football teams participating in district, state level and zone matches. An international hockey stadium with Astro Turf facility is there at Azramam in the city, built at a cost of 13 crore rupees. The land for the construction of the stadium was taken over from the postal department at Azramam, Kolam. The city has another stadium named the Lal Bahadur Shastri Stadium, Kolam. It is a multi purpose stadium and has repeatedly hosted such sports events as the Ranji Trophy, Santhosh Trophy, and national games. Two open grounds in the city, the Azramam Maiden and Piranki Maiden, are also used for sports events, practice and warm-up matches. <laughs> Places of worship The city of Kolam is a microcosm of Kerala state and its residents belong to varied religious, ethnic and linguistic groups. There are so many ancient temples, centuries-old churches and mosques in the city and its suburbs. Hindus and temples Kolam is a Hindu-majority city in Kerala, 56.35% of Kolam's total population belongs to Hindu community. Moreover, the Kolam era also known as Malayalam era or Kalavarsham or Malayalam calendar or Malabar era, solar and sidereal Hindu calendar used in Kerala, has been originated on 825 CE at Kolam city. Anandavalishwaram Sri Mahadevar temple is a 400 years old ancient Hindu temple in the city. The 400 year old sanctum sanctorum of this temple is finished in teak. Amachavidu Mahirthi Temple is another major temple in the city that have been founded around 600 years ago by the Amachi Vidu family, aristocrats from Kolam. The Kolam Puram, a major festival of Kolam, is the culmination of a 10-day festival, normally in mid-April, of Azramam Sri Krishna Swami Temple. Katankalingara Devi Temple is one of the world-famous Hindu temples in Kerala where cross-dressing of men for Chamayavilaku ritual is a part of traditional festivities. The men also carry large lamps. The first of the two-day dressing event drew to a close early on Monday. Moreover, Katarakara Sri Mahaganapati Shithram in Katarakara, Puttingal Devi Temple in Parivar, Poruvaji Puruvarathi Malanata Temple in Poruvaji, Sasthamkata Sri Dharma Sastha Temple in Sasthamkota, Thrikadavur Sri Mahadeva Temple in Kadavur and Katal Mekathal Devi Temple in Panmana are the other famous Hindu worship centres in the Kolam metropolitan area. Christianity and churches Christian population accounts 21.17% of the total population of Kolam city. The Roman Catholic Diocese of Keelan or Kolam is the first Catholic diocese in India. The diocese, which covers an area of 1,950 square kilometers, 753 square miles, and contains a population of 4,879,553 to 235,922, 4.8% of whom are Catholic, is claimed to have first been erected on the 9th of August 1329. It was re-erected on the 1st of September 1886. The famous Infant Jesus Cathedral, 400 years old, located in Thangassery, is the co-cathedral of the Roman Catholic Diocese of Keelan. 
CSI Kolam Kadarakara Diocese is one of the 24 dioceses of the Church of South India. The Infant Jesus Cathedral in Tangasari is established by Portuguese during 1614. It is now the pro cathedral of Roman Catholic Diocese of Keelan, the ancient and first Catholic Diocese of India. The church remains as a memento of the Portuguese rule of Old Keelan City. St. Sebastian's Church at Nindakara is another important church in the city. The Dutch church in Munro Island is built by the Dutch in 1878. Our Lady of Velikani Shrine in Kutchery is another important Christian worship place in Kolam City. St. Casimir Church in Kadavor, Holy Family Church in Kavanad, St. Stephen's Church in Thapu and St. Thomas Church in Kadapakata are some of the other major Christian churches in Kolam. Muslims and Mosques Muslims accounts 22.05% of Kolam's total population. As per the census 2011 data, 80,935 is the total Muslim population in Kolam. The Karbala Maidan and the adjacent Makani Mosque serves as the Eid Gah for the city. The 300-year-old Juma ATH Pali at Karuva houses the mortal remains of a Sufi saint, Syed Abdur Rahman Jifri, Kotukadu Juma Masjid in Chavara, Ilampalar Juma A Masjid, Valiapali in Jonakapuram, Chinakata Juma Masjid, Juma ATH Pali in Kalorvila, Juma ATH Pali in Thadamala and Koivala Juma Masjid in Chavara are the other major mosques in Kolam. Notable people Notable individuals born in Kolam include See also Downtown Kolam Kolam Junction Railway Station Kolam Metropolitan Area Kolam District <laughs>